All right, tonight's target is the Horsehead Nebula. Right now I'm out here on my lake. This is what it looks like to live in Castaic, California. Fish in the day, astrophotography at night. Usually we have nice clear skies. It's a great place to live and play. Starting to get dark, getting ready to set up here. Got the telescope on the mount. I'm using the Canon 60D tonight. We're gonna be shooting up there. Tonight I'm gonna be shooting with a, a, a filter for the first time. I got an Optolong UHC filter in here. I shot a bunch of my subs last week. I'm gonna to add to that with this right here with the Optolong UHC. Get rid of some of this light pollution. There's Sirius right over the chimney there keep going up and right there <laughs> you can start to see Orion we'll be shooting at the lower left star and the belt of Orion tonight that's where we're shooting horsehead nebula I'm hoping I have something to show you guys we're all set up got the power box down here this is kind of a key thing that people don't really talk about you need a power box or you can run an extension cord I suppose but I like running the power box makes it a lot more convenient now I'm just about to get ready to start shooting with some guided setups. So I'm going to be ordering a, a guide scope and a guide camera next week. So I'd like to get some longer exposures. So that's the goal. So what do you do while you're waiting for it to get dark? Or if you got the camera shooting. Well, of course, you got YouTube on. And you got the Astro Backyard channel running in the background. Go figure out the stuff that you need to learn on the Astro Backyard channel and bring it back to your own backyard <laughs> and start shooting your own astro photographs. For today's video, I filmed the Horsehead Nebula using the Optolong UHC filter, which is this guy right here. Quality filter. Now the question could be asked, why did I go with the UHC filter instead of say the L Enhance or one of their more expensive filters? And the answer is obvious, they're more expensive. I got this filter on eBay for $60 and it does an outstanding job of darkening up the sky, getting rid of some of the light pollution. It's not quite as good as the L Enhance or any of their other more expensive filters, but if using a Photoshop or Adobe Lightroom, you can make the changes necessary to get pretty much the same results by spending a whole lot less money. We're gonna go to the computer right now. I wanna show you what some of the subs without the filter and then ones I took with the filter, just to give you a better idea of what this filter can do. Okay, here we are in Adobe Photoshop, and what we're looking at is a one-minute sub of the Horsehead and Flame Nebulas. Now, this was shot without a filter. Uh, my total exposure time on this image was five and a half hours. So what you're looking at now is just a one-minute sub with no filter on it. Now, there's a faint trace right over here of the Flame Nebula. On my computer screen, I can see it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that on YouTube. Over in this area is where the Horsehead Nebula is gonna show up. So this is an unfiltered one minute sub. You can see all of the light pollution. It's a real light brown color. Now, I wanna show you what a one minute sub is gonna look like using the Optolong UHC filter, and here it is. See how much darker this image is. There's a lot more detail. Now, I can't see any trace of the flame or the Horsehead Nebula here on this sub, but once I stack it all together, once I've got my five and a half hours of exposure time, all stacked together, you're gonna to start to see some of that detail. And then of course, you're gonna to have to really stretch it and pull that information out using Photoshop. Now this right here is actually my stacked photo. This is the five and a half hour exposure. And again, the details look good. The stars are crisp, but you can't really see a whole lot of anything as far as the flame nebula or the horse head nebula. I'm gonna to have to go through the stretching process to bring that out. I'm not gonna show that to you in this video. I have other videos you can watch that show how you do that with Lightroom and also using Photoshop to bring out some extra details. But what I do wanna do right now is show you my final image five and a half hours stacked of the horse head and the flame nebula. 